am audible hello good morning ma'am hello yes sir, we can hear yes sir, we can hear you and we can see your presentation also okay Uh, good morning, everyone. Myself, Mohammed Salman. I'm working here as a technical consultant. Today, we are going to learn understanding ebooks, types, and its possibilities. Let's start our topics. The when we start talking about the ebooks, the first question is in our mind: is what are the ebooks? The ebooks and or ebooks, an ebook or an electronic book is a non-editable text that is converted into a digital format. and displayed and read on the electronic devices such as tablet or smartphones while so many people have access to an ebooks over multiple electronic devices no one should be able to change the content without the author's permission without the author's permission an electronic version of a printed textbook is called the ebook the next slide is benefits of the ebook benefits of the ebooks the portable for the first point is portability as mentioned earlier an ebook can be read on the multiple devices no matter where are where you are the second point is accessibility unlike print books an ebook is an on the internet forever you don't have to worry about a title going out of a print or not being reading available third point is interactivity a fascinating feature of an ebook is that readers can take notes and the click on anchor text for extra information this makes ebook suitable for students who need to learn additional information about a specific topic ebooks are also searchable so you can look for keywords on your device and you will immediately be taken to the pages of the books with that keyword suitability because an ebook are read on the electronic device you can adjust the back lighting and font size to your preferences making this a great options for the people with vision disabilities the fifth point is sustainability ebooks reduce the number of the trees that can be cut down because we are using all the ebooks on the online internet and the next slide is how many types of ebooks the pdf ebooks portable document formats ebook closely resemble that layout of a printed book and are commonly used for the documents manuals and the materials that are require a fixed layout pdf ebooks are easily accessible on the various devices and they retain the formatting and the design of the original documents making them ideal for the textbook and the documents with the complex layouts and the second e type of the ebooks the epub it uh, epub based on the electronic publication is one of the most common ebook formats epubs are highly flexible and can adjust their layout to the fit different screen sizes making them compatible with a wide range of the readers e readers tablets and the smartphones they support features such as resizable text adjust adjustable font styles and the dynamic content making them suitable for the various genre and the next slide is mobi ebooks mobi pocket ebooks ebooks are primarily used by the amazon's kindle devices they support features similar to the ebook epubs such as adjustable text and the font sizes mobi ebooks are widely used for the commercial ebooks and the self published works available through the amazon kindle direct publishing kdp platform and the fourth type of the ebooks interactive ebooks interactive ebooks offer a more engaging reading experience by incorporating the multimedia elements such as audio video and the interactive graphics 
these ebooks are often used in the educational materials just like the children's books and the digital learning resources to enhance the reader engagement and the understanding the next points are the enhanced ebooks enhanced ebooks combine traditionally text with the multimedia elements such as audio and the video to create the more immersive reading experience they often include additional features like pop up annotations embedded links and the interactive elements catering to the various learning styles and the preferences the sixth one is the fixed layout ebooks the fixed layout ebooks are similar to the pdf ebooks in that they preserve the exact layout and the design of the print version they are commonly used for the graphic intensive publications such as comic books children books and the illustrated guides we are maintaining the original layout in the essential to the reading experience the next slide is ncert uses the three types of the ebooks the pdf the portable document format which is you can find the pdf documents on the ncert websites and the second one is the flipbook flipbook uh, is flipbook used for the you can access directly on the epartshala.nic.in and the epub files uh, can, uh, you can find on the e epartshala mobile app what is the digitization of the textbooks digitization of the textbook refers to the process of the converting traditional print textbook into the digital formats that can be accessed and read on the electronic device such as computers tablets e readers and the smartphones it involves the transforming the contents layout and the feature of the printed textbook into a digital versions that can be viewed and interacted with the electronically what is the flipbook a flipbook is an interactive online html5 publication that has the look and feel of a real page turning publication page turning sound effects page shadows and many more features includes in the flipbooks flipbooks are currently used to replace the conventional digital pdfs and the paper based document such as reports presentations magazines catalogs brochures books and the more and the digital flipbooks looks and feel exactly like a printed publication with the pages that can be flipped and turned without the cost of printing and the next type of what is the epub3 epub3 is based on the electronic publication version 3 is a standard format for the digital publications and the ebooks it is the latest version of the epub epub standard developed by the international digital publishing forum idpf and was introduced in 2011 the epub3 is designed to provide a flexible and the feature rich platform for creating and the distributing the electronic publications it offers several enhancements over the previous versions allowing for the more interactive and the multimedia rich content why do we need epub the first point is the cross cross platform compatibility epub files are the compatible with a variety of the devices including e readers tablets smartphones and the computer epub works on the different operating systems and can be read using the various softwares and the apps this cross platform compatibility ensures the digital publications can reach a wide audience and can be accessed on the different devices reflowable epub allows the, for the reflowable text meaning the content can be adapted and adjust to the different screen size and the font size this ensures that the reader can adjust the font size switch between the portrait and the landscape orientations and the next point is interactive features epub supports the interactive element such as hyper links multimedia content quizzes these features enable this feature enable 
publishers to create the engaging and the interactive reading experiences. Interactive elements can enhance learning materials, provide additional context, and the promote active participation from the readers. Accessibility. EPUB in incorporates the accessibility features to make digital publishing publications more inclusive. These features include adjustable font size, compatibility with the screen readers, supports for the alternative text for the images, and the text to speech functionality, and the more things are coming in the accessibility features. The next point is enhanced design and the styling. EPUB support the CSS Cascade style sheet, which is used for the design of any EPUB, EPUBs, e electronic books, and the flip books. Publishers to apply the ad advanced styling and the layout option. This, this allows for the more visually appealing and the professional looking digital publications. EPUB's design capabilities and enable the creation of the aesthetically pleasing ebooks, textbook, and other digital materials. And the next point is dynamic updates and the revisions. EPUB allows for the easy updates and the revisions of the digital publications. Publishers can modify and update the content of the EPUB files directly at that line where changes need and modification needs. And the seven points is cost effective distribution. EPUB offers a cost effective distribution model for the digital publications. EPUB files can be easily distributed on shared electronically. You can just share the link and the books available for the others, eliminating the needs for the physical printing and the distribution cost. This makes it easier for authors, publishers, and the educators to reach a global audience without incurring the significant experience expenses. Environmental sustainability. By embracing the EPUB, we, need, we can reduce the consumption of the paper and the contribute the environmental sustainability. The key difference between the EPUB and the PDF. The first point is the content reflowability. EPUB files are designed for the reflowable content as already we discussed, meaning the text and the layout adapt the different screen sizes and the font settings. EPUB allows readers to adjust font sizes, switches between the portrait and the landscape orientations, and the customize the reading experiences. On the other side, the PDF files have the fixed layout that maintain the precise positioning of the text, images, and the other elements. PDFs are typically designed to the replicate the original printed documents appearances. Interactive and the multimedia. EPUB supports the interactive elements such as hyperlinks, multimedia contents, just like the audios, videos, H5P, Lumi's interactive games, interactive quizzes, and the embedded scripts, and the alternative text facilities are available there. On the other hand, the PDF can include hyperlinks and the multimedia content. It is interactive capabilities are more limited compared to the EPUB. The next slide is accessibility features. The EPUB has built in accessibility features such as adjustable font sizes, text to speech functionality, compatibility with the screen readers, and the supports of the alternative text for the images. These features ensure that the EPUB files are more accessible to the individuals with the visual impairment or the reading difficulties. And on the other hand, the PDF can be made accessibly, but it often requires the additional steps and the may have the limitation in terms of the flexibility and the compatibility with the accessibility tools. Layout and the design. EPUBs offers the more flexibility in the terms of the layout and the design. It can handle the complex pages structure, responsive designs, and the support the cascade style sheets for the advanced storing and the PDF. PDF on the other hand, the preserve the exact layout of the original document, just like the printing textbook, including the font, images, and the formatting PDFs is often used for the documents where maintain 
the visual integrity of the original layout. The next point is device compatibility. Heap of files are designed to be compatible with a wide range of the devices, including e-readers, tablets, smartphones, and the desktop computers. EPUB is supported by the various reading applications and the platforms. On the other hand, the PDF files are also widely supported across the devices and the platforms, but certain devices or applications may have limitations in terms of the displaying or interacting the, with PDFs. Editing and authoring. The next point is EPUB files can be easily created and edited using the various software tools. EPUB authoring tools provide features for the content creation, editing, and the formatting. PDFs, on the other hand, is preliminarily used for the preserving and the share, sharing documents in a read-only format. In the PDF, editing PDFs typically requires the specialized software and the process is more involved compared to editing file, EPUB files. Uh, we, we use the sigil software for the for creation of the EPUB files. This is the symbol of the sigil software. You can directly, this is free and the open source. You can directly download it from its officially websites. This is the look and feel. This is the structure of the, the sigil software. On the left of the, just like uh, MS Word software features, this is the H1 tags, defines the headings. The B is, defines the bold. I is and define the italic under uh, underline and subscripts and the and superscript and the line index te text indent we can the the left hand side is a structure of the softwares the first is the text files. Here the software collect the old text file in the HTML format. And the second folder is the styles. Here store the old Pascal style files. And the third folder is images where the software stored all the images. And the font folders contain the fonts of the required fonts, audio files, and the, as well as similarly the video files and the miscellaneous content. Software automatically segregate and separate all the files automatically. This is the quick code view of us. And the, this is the, this window is chapter down the rabbit hole. This is the preview window. And the next slide is, eBooks available on the following places, NCRT official web, websites. You can directly visit on the ncrt.nic.in. PDF web versions are available there. Dixa portals and the mobile apps, ebooks, e resources with energized textbooks, and the e partsala portals and the mobile app, flipbooks, and the epub formats are available there. Energized textbook. Next point is energized textbook. Energized textbook. Energized textbook is a feature aimed at the providing access to digital content for the various topics in the physical textbook. QR codes are attached to the physical textbook and related content is created on the Diksha. This document explains the procedure of the scanning QR codes in the Diksha and the The next slide is the QR code. Quick response code. QR code is a two-dimensional barcode that is readable by the smartphones. A static QR codes encode the content directly in the image itself. You can think of them like regular printed text just represented in the different way. That means you can't update the content once generated. Because the content is directly encoded in the image, they also grow in size with the amount of the content they, they store. Huh, the final steps is 
to generate steps to generate QR codes by the Google Sheets. Firstly, we need to create the four columns in your in your Google Sheets: the domain URL, code, complete URL, and the QR code on a Google Sheet. We'll practicing it after. First, we read it. Step two: fill the following columns are the first first domain url we have to write the domain name as https epartshala.nic.in slash qr slash question mark id is equal to this is our domain url code we have to write code of the title this is the unique code of every chapters and the third step is the complete url we have to concatenate the domain url with the code in the Google Sheet A2 and B2. And the fourth step, the QR code. This is the application programming interface, which is provide the QR IC kit. You can This is a QR, QRIC kit website. It is provide the application programming interface for us. Yeah, we have to integrate in with the our Google Drive document sheet. It is provide a bar, square barcode that can be scanned using the camera of your smartphones. Since it is free and open technology, anywhere, anyone can make and use QR code for the personal and the business purposes by scanning a QRIC kit. Let's create the first, the, how can we create it? The first we need to open the Google sheet, the blank style sheet. We have to name in QR code. And define the column, the domain URL. The second one is code. The third one is complete URL. And fourth one is QR code. We just follow these steps. The first step is Copy this from here and paste it here. And the second step is copy this code here and paste it here. And the fourth step. Now paste it here and the application programming interface created automatically a complete URL for us. We can see it here, the domain URL and the code automatically concatenate it here. And this is our the complete URL. According to this URL, we have to create the QR code for this URL. We just need to copy here the application interface programming, which is provide the QRIC kit for us. Uh, we have to just integrate it with our document sheet. We just We have to just paste it here. And this application programming interface automatically create a QR code for us. And if we need the, if we need one or more QR code for the same, we just, we just need to drag it down. According to your need, we are, I'm just taking the 
first 10 rows and just only so just drop drag it click drop and just drag it down uh, similarly I'll just drag it down from here and just simply just We just resize it. Excuse me, sir. Many participants want, so please uh, repeat the process. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, sir. First, we need to go in the, we need to create a blank Google style sheet. Click here. Give a name for it. QR code. Uh, give a name for the this first column, the domain URL. Do they want a process from search engine? Search engine what? Matlab, ma'am? Uh, uh, Dikla Doka, ma'am, want uh, to repeat the process uh, from search engine. Uh, yeah, no? Yes, yes, sir. This is the just website. We have we have already used in from it the it is provide us a application programming interface of the QRIC kit. We just follow these steps. Only four steps we have to follow. And the, this application programming interface automatically automatically creates a QR code for us. Just follow these steps. Domain URLs. code and the concatenate a complete URL and the QR code the first we have the first step is just copy this domain URL and paste it here and the second step is this code code copy it from here and the paste it and the third step is concatenate both the urls Both URL has been com com concatenated and we just copy the application programming interface which is provide the QRIC kit. And this application programming automatically create a QR code for this URL. Um, if we need one or more QR code for the same books, we just drag it down. Again, just drag it down. Again, just drag. And again, just drag.
just resize it. These are our QR code. We have to just download it, this file in a PDF, as a PDF. Click on the export file. Open a browser and type here the extract image extract images from PDF choose this one and browse the downloaded file here Again, we need to download it again. Just download PDF. Honey, take me around. Yes, is there any issue, sir? Yes, I have an issue. I'm coming back in five minutes. Yes, sir. Okay. I will join after five minutes. and click on open, open. Just try for 
PDF Click on here. Click select. We download it file here. Click and open. Extract images. These are our extracted files and just click on extracted all and click on extract here and click on this folder. Hello, Anna, ma'am. Hello. Anna, ma'am. Ani. Ani. यार तुमने गड़बड़ कर दिया भाई सब कुछ मैंने तुम्हारा जो है ना ये जो है सब की लिमिट एक्सट्रैक्ट हो रखी है आई लव पीडीएफ पीडीएफ टू इमेज Yes, sir. Quote from the. So uh, write down the steps in the chat box. They can follow yes, the sir. steps and they can. Um, okay, okay. Okay. You just paste it on a chat. In the meanwhile, if uh, anybody have uh, any query, uh, then they can also unmute themselves and ask their queries. Sir has written all the steps in the chat box. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Thank you. Doubt and questions? Does anybody want to ask something?
Yes, sir. We have a question. To create QR, we need to have a pre developed URLs. Yes, ma'am. You have to buy it from the service providers. <clears throat> Because we are using the epartshala.nic.in, this is the NCRT's domain URL. If you create according to this URL, you just need to buy it your personal domain from the service provided, just like a GoDaddy, Big Rocks, and the many more service providers are available on the markets. Yeah, next question, ma'am. Does anybody want to ask something? Is there any query uh, related to the steps? They, uh, they said uh, we need to pay then for yes, pre developing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Kulshan, uh, uh, Kulshan Pega, sir, you can also unmute yourself. Kulshan Pega, sir. Okay, ma'am. So I just wanted to ask Mohamed, sir. Yes, sir. So, uh, so, so that means that we need to pay for the URLs or, or else we can't create the QR codes, right, sir? No, 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 sir. You just need to buy your domain URL. Okay, and the okay. QRI secret will provide you a free and open source API to create the QR codes. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Got it. Thank you, sir. Any other questions? Any other query related to the steps and uh, creation of QR code? And also Solomon, sir. Yes, sir. If further the same issue occurs uh, as it occurred in your system, so what would be the solution for the same? No, sir. No, there is no some issues. No, just normal issues. Hai, so, ho jayenge, sir, ye. Just created online browsers, available websites. We have just crossed the limit of the creation of the QR code. So you just go other websites and find others, mm -hmm. which is available for the image from extraction from the PDFs, images extraction, so images available there. Linux also provide the facility to extract the images from the PDF. Okay, so, okay. So. Uh, uh, one more question from Kilsung Moman uh, Mongjin. Uh, sir, a hyperlink can use? Hyperlink, which, yes, 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 yes. Can we create QR code in mobile also? No. Okay. We create only the URLs. Okay. Regarding creation of uh, QR codes. Okay. 